Hello to everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Kung bago ka sa aking channel, please don't forget to click the subscribe and bell button para ikaw ay vlogging mati. Today, we are going to discuss about postulate. What is a postulate? A postulate are statements that are assumed to be true without proof. First, we have the line postulate. For every two points, there is exactly one line that contains both points. So we have here, point A and point B contains one line. In short, A, point A and point B are a collinear point. The plane postulate, any three points lie in at least one plane. Any three non-collinear points lie in exactly one plane. Any three points are always collinear. So we have here an example. Non-collinear points X, Y, and Z lie on A and B. So we have here the illustration. So we have three points. The X, Y, and Z. And it is in one plane. Okay. The flat plane postulate. So when you say flat plane postulate, if two points of a line lie in a plane, then the line lies in the same plane. So we have here, the point X and Z lie on a plane M. Therefore, line N or line XZ also lie on plane M. This partially describes the flatness of the plane. So we have here. Okay. Next is the plane intersection partially. So we have here, if two different planes intersect, then their intersection is a line. The plane K and plane S intersect at line R N. So we have here the plane S and the plane K intersect at line F N. Okay, so next, segment addition partially. So we have if let if L is between F and Y, then FL plus LY is equal to FY. So for example, we have here the line segment FY between the Y and F, that is point L. So here, FL is 5 cm and LY is 2 cm. We're going to add this 5 and 2, the total length of FY is 7. Okay, so the seven centimeters. Next is the angle addition question. If N is in the intersection of angle QRS, then the measurement of the angle QRN plus the measurement of angle NRS is equal to the measurement of the angle QRS. So this is an example only. So we have here, the measurement of angle QRN is and the measurement of angle NRS is 40. If we're going to add 80 plus 40, that is 120 degrees. The measurement of the angle QRS is 120 degrees. Okay, so I hope nasundan nyo siya. Okay, we have the right angle postulate. All right angles are equal or complete. So when you right angle, that is 90 degrees. So here, angle F and angle L and angle Y are right angle. Then the measurement, then the angle F is congruent to angle L and is congruent also to angle Y. This symbol is for congruent. And this is for angle. Okay. So let's have an example regarding this okay you're going to state the postulate that will justify each statement so i prepared five items for you so let's proceed for number one point m and n are collinear points so I'm here so when we say collinear if you draw if you are going to connect that point you will create a line therefore the postulate is 
Yes. Nine. Oh shit. Very good. Another number. Point M and N are in a plane O. Thus, line M N is in a plane O. We're going to illustrate that. We have here the point M and the point N at a line M N, which is in the plane. Therefore, this line M N says that the plane is flat. Okay, therefore, flat plane posture. Next, number three. Beside point L, there is another point on X. We have here. So we have here a line posture. Next is for number four. Point M, N, and O lie on the same plane. Okay, yes, very good. We're going to illustrate up here the non-collinear points. So meaning this is Posture. And last but not the least, if the angle LRO, angle ORV, and angle VR are adjacent angles, then the measurement of angle LRE is equal to 165 degrees. So we are going to illustrate this one. Okay? Therefore, this is angle addition posture. So I hope may natutunan kayo kahit pa paano dito sa ating posture. So that's it for today. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video. That's all. Bye!